Marcia Gellhorn Marcia Ellis Gellhorn was an American travel and crime writer and journalist who is considered to be one of the greatest war correspondents. She reported one very world conflict that took place during the six years of her career from country to country to describe wars in the most accurate way possible. She was one of the first female war correspondents ever and one of the best American reporters of the 20th century. Marcia was born in St. Louis, Missouri in a rich family in 1908. Her father was a Jewish origin and her mother was from a Protestant family. Her father was a doctor and her mother was a supporter of women's right to vote. Marta attended a private school that her parents founded in St. Louis and was very clever. She liked to write very much. Marta graduated in 1926 from high school and went to college in Philadelphia. In 1927, she left college before graduating because she wanted to start writing as a journalist. Her first article appeared in a newspaper called The New Republic. In 1930, Martha decided that she wanted to become a correspondent from another country, so she went to France for two years where she worked in Paris. While Martha was in France, she wrote about her experiences in a book. After her first book, she traveled to America to write about the problems of the time and collected them in another book, The Trouble I Have Seen. Martha published a lot of other books over the years and collections of articles on war. In 1940, Martha married the famous writer Ernest Hemingway and together they traveled to Spain to write about the Spanish Civil War and the beginning of World War II. After Spain, she was sent to different other states in Europe to collect news about the World War II and reported every major event of the war and of its end. After World War II, she went to Vietnam, El Salvador, Nicaragua and Panama and was there to write for a lot of important conflicts and events. Marta died in London at 89 years old. The Marta Gellhorn Prize for Journalism was established in her honor. On October 2007, she was chosen to be put on a postage stamps and in 2011, she was the subject of an episode of the World Major Rights series, Extraordinary Women in the United States. In 2012, a movie about her and her husband's life was very popular.